We were ready to record Opal's origin story, realized we needed the tripod, but that would make it easier. So now we're trying to remember where we put it. Chad's digging in the car. I think it's in the camper. Stay tuned. Chad, I found where was it. the tripod? It was right where you said it was. What the hell? So how did we end up with a 1976 motorhome? It all started during the shutdowns and you couldn't go anywhere. Everything was closed. The car over there, I just, we have to redo this. Look, there's oh. two deer. to film this and Chad looked up and there were deer right in the creek down from us. So Had back to get on that. track. Had to get that. Had to stop. Back on track. How do we end up with a 1976 GMC motorhome? Um, during the shutdowns nothing was open, couldn't go anywhere. What you could do was limit it out of your own house. We would get food, we would get in a car and we would just drive on back roads, try to check out some places we really hadn't been before and we called them quorum drives and one quorum drive we were at South Holston Lake Recreation Area we were driving a little curvy road and in one of the pull-offs we saw this unusual looking camper and I said hey I've never seen anything like that before and then Chad immediately got to a pull-off turned around made quick tracks back to it and it was a GMC motorhome. It was a 23 foot, which is what Opal is. Um, it's not a lot of 23s, most of them are 26 foot. Um, so I just asked him, I was like, man, what kind of coach is that? He says, it is a GMC motor coach. He told me they'd made them from 73 to 78. And we finished up our drive and I rushed home, got on the internet as quick as possible because I was like, man, that is the coolest thing ever. Learn everything you could about them and then two weeks when he says he learned everything he could about them what he really means is that he became obsessed with them so that was the sunday before labor day and labor day weekend he had found one in florida had gotten a crew together to drive to florida and pick it up sight unseen basically no test drive or anything and bring it home and start working on it and we, so we started working on it and loved it but it was a 26 foot and um um, Mandy loves the 23 foots because they look like a pudgy van. So we have since then called them PVs. They're Instead PVs. of an RV, it's a PV. It's a PV, pudgy, pudgy van. van. So these, July the 3rd. Well, fast forward. We got that one in Florida, yeah. the 78, 26 foot, and started working on it. And once it got back to Tennessee, Chad realized that it was a little more extensive work than he was expecting it to be, but he had been working on it. Um, and then fast forward to July of 2021. Yes, July 2021, um, July the 5th, the morning, I get up and on Marketplace in Knoxville, it's open for a reasonable price. And it's a 23 foot. So Mandy was not excited. I got up and said, hey, I'm going to Knoxville to get another motor home. We didn't really have a chance to get excited because you made the deal while I was asleep. That's true. But, yeah, I so I woke up and I didn't heard that we chance. had purchased a second one and that he was going that day to go pick it up. So, But it was in much better shape than, than our original one. And so I thought it would be more capable quicker than the first one, um, which has become true. And after going down and getting it, um, got it back and um, really didn't do that much work to it. And we were already camping. So our first camping trip in her was November 2021. So got her in July. She was ready to camp by November for Thanksgiving here at Red Mountain State Park. 
the upgrades that we had done at that point were very minimal. She still needed new upholstery for the cushions. So we just had old quilts and sheets that we wrapped around the cushions. She still had her original 1976 orange shag carpet on her. Um, still had the original driver and passenger seats, which I think were from, were not from original to her, one, but from another one. They were very uncomfortable and very ugly. They were this light blue, blue color, yeah, which didn't blue. match any part of her skin. <laughs> Um, but she, we were able to camp in her. The heater worked. She has a propane heater. That worked. So we were able to stay nice and toasty. And then we continued on working on her. Upgrading and, and everything. And finally this last year, we uh, we finally saved up and worked with some friends and got the paint job done, um, which was very, very much needed. <laughs> yeah, her paint had really started to peel off. Um, we went with the original paint scheme and the design scheme for Birch Haven, which is her model number, model line, I guess. So we did that, and those were painted on there, not vinyl stripes, which we had considered. But talking to another friend who knows about that, we went with the paint stripe. So in December of 22, we drove her to Florida after Christmas for a road trip and had her windshield replaced of course. A crack on the part that Chad would need to look out the driver's side was cracked. Kind of important. Yeah. And there was the laminating that makes it foggy around the edges. That was happening on all of the windshields. So that was a big expense, but we added a fun trip into it. So we got that, so we got that done. Um, and I think those are the major upgrades that we've done. She got a new heat pump. After the paint job? Yes, after the paint yeah, job. Heater and air conditioner unit. She has a pod up on top for storage. So um, it's all about Opal and how we came to have her. And she's fun. We don't just camp in her, we go on date nights. We decorate her at in October and drive around with friends looking at decorations for the Spooky Express. We do the same thing at Christmas and call it the Merriman Express. And we're in her all the time. Even if we're just gonna go get dinner, we'll drive her, get food go find you know, the local lakes or parks, sit in, eat. Much more than a camper, games. it's a living or <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. It's new name. now. So our name, we decided that we wanted to, you know, we, we love to travel and we love to go to different places and we love to find like off the beaten path stuff to do. So. We decided to start a channel and putting some of our stuff out on social media. And we wanted to come up with a name that was unique and that kind of told about us. So we came up with Windshield Horizons because the windshield is one of the most unique features of the GMC motorhomes just because they're so big and you see such pretty views out of them. And we're always on the lookout for a place to go and a place to see and like getting to that pretty view of the horizon. Uh, what's the next place that we're going to see? What's the next horizon that we want to find? How many places can we see out of it? So we thought that Windshield Horizons is a great name for um, our brand. So that's how we came to Opal and that's how we came to Windshield Horizons.